China and Greece will not hurt global growth, and higher interest rates in the U.S. are on the rise, at least according to the IMF. We should expect probably a, a, a variation of monetary policy in the not too distant future. Uh, we will. Uh, we are very pleased to see that it is uh, data dependent, and that the uh, uh, the chairman of the um, of the Fed is actually very, very uh, uh, determined to stay data dependent and to give very clear signals and indications as to when um, changes will occur. Outside the U.S., China's recent market declines have been top of mind, but Lagarde says the volatility won't dampen the country's hopes of having its yuan currency included in the IMF's emergency reserves, which countries access in times of need. We believe that the Chinese economy is resilient and, and uh, you know, strong enough to withstand that kind of, of uh, uh, significant variation in, uh, in the markets. Inclusion of the yuan would be a prestigious milestone for China. Lagarde also remains bullish on growth in the Eurozone despite Greece's ongoing debt woes. For Greece to succeed and for any program to, to fly, a significant debt restructuring should take place. And the IMF expects the world economy to grow 3.3% in 2015 and 3.8% in 2016. For The Street, I'm Scott Gam in New York.